Okay, can we talk about those two post credit scenes for Shazam 2? Spoilers ahead, obviously. Let's start with this one. We go back to a very familiar jail cell, and we see Dr. Zavanna once more, who looks like he grew a beard because he's been in jail for so long. And Mr. Mind is back once again. We haven't seen him since the first post credit scene for Shazam 1, and he's one of the coolest DC villains in the comics, and I'm really glad they're bringing him into live action. It seems like the old DC was setting him up to be the big bad for Shazam and Shazam 3, but I don't even know if that's going to happen anymore. Now on to the next post credit scene. Harcourt shows up once again, but this time with Diebeard. And no, James Gunn did not put his wife in this movie. Apparently it was old DC, and it seems like they wanted to make them the Nick Fury and Coulson of the DC Universe. They wanted to recruit Shazam for the Justice Society of America, which consists of Dr. Fate- oh wait, no, never mind. Hawkman, Adam Smasher, Cyclone, and Black Adam. That was a big mistake, because Shazam is a Justice League member at Heart, and he would never work with Black Adam unless they change the source material entirely and make them like best friends or something. But the Avengers reference was kind of funny though. 